All right, so 5, 1, we're going to look at um, sine and cosine and all that again, but we're going to use um, right triangles. Um, so many of us probably remember SOHCAHTOA, which we'll go over in a second. If not, you'll hear what I'm talking about in a second. So anytime we have a right triangle, and we'll pick an angle, um, we'll have the adjacent side is the side touching the angle, the side that's not the hypotenuse. Uh, the opposite will be the other leg, but not touching. And then the hypotenuse is always that long side, um, the side opposite the right angle. And we'll call that C. Um, and so the Pythagorean theorem tells us that A squared plus B squared, so th the two legs, A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Um, and we'll use, we can use this to help us find the sine and cosine functions in a second. Um, to relate this to the unit circle, um, it really is the same thing. Um, the unit circle is just a special case. So we get that triangle. I'm going to just draw it below. So we have one cosine theta was the x value. Sine theta was the y value, where theta is right here. And then we actually make the same proportions in a bigger triangle. These are called similar triangles. Um, a, B, and C. And we'll notice, oops, Right, so cosine, um, you may remember as adjacent over hypotenuse. So in this case, it would be cosine over one or A over C. We get the same answer either way. So the unit circle is just a special triangle where the hypotenuse is always one, but it makes the same ratios. So if we had cosine theta equals one half, bad pen choice. So on this triangle, it would be this side would be one half and this side would be one, versus this triangle, a would be two, uh, a would be one, sorry, adjacent, and hypotenuse would be two. So it's a different triangle, but it has the same proportions. So hopefully that makes sense. So this is where Sokotoa comes from. So sine is opposite over. Hypotenuse, opposite over hypotenuse. That was the so in so Katoa. Um, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's the C-A-H in Soka. And then Toa was tangent is opposite over adjacent. And then I don't really remember memorize cotangent secant or co oops or cosecant. Um, I just know cotangent as 1 over tangent, right? Secant as 1 over cosine, and cosecant as 1 over sine, rather than trying to memorize more definitions. Um, so if you know Sokotoa, you can find all six of them. All right, let's try some examples. So let's find all of the values for the trig functions. So we'll find sine theta, cosine, tangent, cotangent, secant, and cosecant. So I think I'm going to find the third side um, before I even try to approach these. So we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to find the third side, which is a squared, which is the side b squared equals c squared. So a squared plus 2 squared equals 5 squared. So what do we get? a squared plus 4 is 25. So a squared is 21. We'll just write a as square root 21. Has to be positive because it's the length of a triangle. Can't have a negative length. Cool. And now we can find all six trig functions. So sine is so in Sokotoa, so opposite over hypotenuse. So it'll be... 2 over 5, 2 fifths. Um, cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. That's the CAH. Square root 21 over 5. Tangent will be, that's the TOA, opposite over adjacent. You could do sine over cosine, but I think opposite over adjacent is faster. So 2 over root 21 
Um, that's fine. Sometimes we like to rationalize, so by getting rid of the square root in the denominator. So 2 root 21 over 21, just to remind you of that. So these cancel out and just make 21, and the square root goes away. That's called rationalizing, in case you don't remember. Cool, so hopefully this is making sense. And then I am not going to use the definitions for the remaining three. I am going to um, just do the reciprocals. So cotangent is one over tangent. So it's just the reciprocal. So I'm going to use the reciprocal of this version since it's a little more simple, um, since it's less numbers. So it'll just be square root 21 over 2. Secant was 1 over cosine. So it's just the reciprocal of cosine. So it'll be 5 over root 21. Just flipping that one. Um, I'm going to rationalize just so we can get practice with that. So multiply top and bottom by square root 21. So we get 5 root 21 on top, and then the denominator just becomes 21. We cancel out. And then cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So instead of 2 fifths, we flip it and we get 5 halves. So that would be the value of all six trig functions for this angle here. So I'll see you back for the next video.